This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abedur Planner, Mr. Green, Camp Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in a 2013 Tesla model SP85, also known as Millennium Falcon. And in this video, I'm going to show you the latest add on, which is uh, Laser Linear Elite 18 LED bar with some smart functions, well, assist function. I wouldn't call it matrix, but um, at least in this stretch here, I'm going to show you first uh, how awesome they are. So let's just get going. Uh, unfortunately, it is a bit wet on the road today and it's minus one degree Celsius. So the salt truck just went past me. Could be a bit slippery now. So I have to be careful. But um, also, um, I should mention that uh, if you watched the previous episode, the the lights, they were the, the regular lights, they were about to go bust and they went bust or they went kaput. And uh, I just replaced them both sides now. The, the original ones, they are um, uh, Osram, but uh, at uh, Bill Expert and Bosch Nasir, you know, he wanted to try some uh, Philips. So now we have Philips headlights. You see, this is uh, low beam and then high beam. So these are the original, original one. I feel like they are kind of concentrated towards the, the center. So um, again, I'm not sure if if they are maybe adjusted correctly or whatever. So uh, I asked Nati, he's going to check it out. But either way, uh, you still get an idea of what uh, what it looks like. So not too crazy high output. And uh, let me see. Okay, go over here. Now I come to the dark side. So I've set now, um, I always use uh, manual uh, white balance. I think I set it to 4,200 Kelvin. And you see, okay, we have high beam. And then I have a, a wireless relay here to turn on the LED bar, right? Are you guys ready for it? Boom! <laughs> it is so bright. It's just insane. Uh, you just uh, and nice and bright and wide. So compared to the old uh, uh, laser elite that I had in the Model Three, these ones they shine wider than before. Uh, and then it has the, the assist function, but. At least we can try, we can, it's going to drive the regular route. This is a nice route because we can see all the yeah, bushes and spread that we have the, the roller coaster route. So I'll just show you how awesome it is to drive around here. So of course they, are, they don't turn, unfortunately there's lead bar, right? But uh, because they are so wide, you can still, you see, you see everything here. Well, let me just stop here for a bit. i show you if you don't have it, you see roughly like this, but the camera is kind of tricking you a little bit here because uh, the camera is uh, using auto um, uh, exposure. So what we should do is do uh, this, put the high beam on, I mean, put the LED bar on and then adjust it down a little bit like this. So it's not overexposed. And now I'm going to turn off. And here, now you see the difference between <laughs> regular and lead bar does now have locked exposure so this is really convincing when you when you see this and you think oh okay uh, that's not good well, <laughs> well actually it, it's kind of tricking you a bit because now I, I set the, the the exposure against the lead bar which is so bright so we can do it the other way around we can do this and we can do this and now we adjust it against and I lock exposure again against the, the, the uh, original lights. And then you will see that <laughs> everything looks just overexposed in comparison. <laughs> so, all right, let me just put it on auto again there. So you're gonna see, uh, because the light conditions might change a little bit. So we can just do the regular one. Okay, oh, it's a bit foggy today. Uh, so maybe not the best uh, condition to test light. Oh, shit. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Too much fog. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good. I was going to show you how awesome they are. And then we have all this fog in the way. Um, 
Yeah, let me see. What well, what if you turn it off? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you see. Mm -hmm. You just you get almost blinded. Did did did. But uh, hopefully we can. Yeah, it's kind of clear. There, 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 there. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, look here. Okay. All right. Let's try again then. So if you do this, and then, okay, maybe go down a bit. There, there, there. I think that's good. Exp uh, yeah, yeah. Here, here. You see. Okay. <laughs> Lead bar on. Lead bar off. <laughs> wax on. Wax off. <laughs> oh shit! This is just crazy. Huge difference, really huge difference. I can just I can do this all day. Yeah, I, I don't know about you, but okay, let's let's get moving. Well, okay, let me uh, then adjust this one again uh, to no. Uh, or, yeah, I change it so it um, it adjusts automatically. So um, we have to go to the farm as usual. But just just look how much you see now. And normally, if I if I have it on uh, like this, right, uh, it's kind of weak. And but it feels like I feel like yeah. You see here, the the color temperature on the Philips bulbs they seem to be at uh, maybe four thousand two hundred or ish. But then this one seems to be higher, maybe close to five thousand Kelvin. But what the heck, that fog though, uh, that, that's ruining some of the test here. Um, I'll see if this gets into production or not, but um, hmm, massive lead bar. Oh, okay, I have to watch out for fox here, and also the, the road is kind of slippery, but uh, on the other hand, these kind of weather conditions is quite common nowadays. But in, in this case, maybe you don't want to have high. Yeah, yeah, so you see, it's actually, maybe it's better to just have a regular high beam. So at least it's, it's nice for me that I have the buttons. I can disable it if I need to, like now, for example. Uh, but you see, I kind of feel like the, the headlights are misaligned. Okay, there's something coming. Oh, that, that's the same. Oh, okay, the, the, the mother trucker, he's going the other direction now. Oh, I might catch him on the return. No, no, actually, let's see. He's not driving that fast. Oh, yeah, the farm here is clear. Oh, just like a, just what I need. Okay, all right, all right, okay. Maybe it's not too, uh, the test is not that bad, uh, screwed up. Okay, we have, we have to try this, all right. On the farm, oh, yeah. Right after they went to bed, they are just, uh, you know, checking their phone or reading a book and then I come and wake them up. All right, let's see. Get them um, ready, all right? So this is then high beam. And then, boom! <laughs> oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, okay, and then off. <laughs> this one, I almost don't bother them. But here, bam! They will, oh, what the heck is that UFO? Shit! Okay, let's go. Let's go before they call the cops on me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me see. Oh, I think I need to... Okay, okay. All right. So, uh, ooh, it's kind of slippery here. So we turn on the lead bar again. Boom. So, what I noticed, I, I've been using some lead bar and uh, over the years, and um, I feel like I have less fatigue when I drive at night. Because when I really have to struggle to see what the heck is that thing, then I guess I get more tired, I guess, or yeah. But here, you, you just have so much light and you, you almost, you don't have to concentrate that hard to spot something or you wonder, hey, is that, is that a moose? Is that a fox? Uh, but uh, well, unless we have fog, but uh, yeah. So let me see. Um, I wonder, I want to try over here. Let me see. Oh, I have to be careful. Okay, you see, in this case, I want to, <laughs> you want to turn off the, the lead bar or even, yeah. But I'm going to test something else. I have the, the other remote here. Now we are in the pitch dark. Let's try the assist function. Here, you see, left and right side. It's actually cool that we have the fog because then the, the, the beams are more visible. We have left and right side. Wait, turn it off. Wait. Yeah. Now it's off. 
no, no, now it's off. Okay, my bad. Okay, now it's off. And then these are not uh, the, the LED, I mean, the full LED bar. So it's supposed to be smart uh, assist thing. It has a sensor in the front, but um, I feel like it's doing some weird shit all the time. You see? Uh, why is the... Why is the left side not on? Now the left side is on. Yeah, perfect. No, no, no. Don't turn it off. Don't turn it off. Put it back in. Put it in. What? Is it? The, it it's so random how the left and the right side comes on and off. So to the point where I'm not sure if it's good or not. Well, at least we can try. We can try some other stretches then. Let's see then. Uh, maybe we don't have fog over there. We are now on E16 towards uh, Kongsvinger. Now I'm gonna try the assist function. Oh, okay, hmm. Well, uh, wait, I kinda need light on the sign, bro. There, okay, good, what? Uh, okay, this assist is where, what, is the sensor schmutzig? No, there it comes on, okay, the right side comes on and off. The left side goes on. Uh, okay, well, we have some assist here now. See, I can show you with and without assist. This is completely off. And then here we have. But if I re if I start and stop, then it tends to reset a bit. But wait, is it off now? No, okay, no, at least the left side. Oh, it's. Huh. Okay, this. <laughs> the assist feature here is really weird almost to the point where I don't want to use it uh, okay let me just uh, yeah let's go to the turn uh, to the roundabout and then drive back again okay let me see we have a bus incoming and a car turn it oh see it turn it on kind of turn it on against the bus as I switch it off well maybe I should Okay, let's, let's let's start again. On. Huh. The right side tends to turn off a lot. What? what? Uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. This is no. Nah, this is bad. This is really random. The whole. Uh. Okay. At least we have right side now. That's good. Okay. Maybe left side is off because of that one. Okay. Now we have a truck coming. Oh no, is that a bus? Not sure, yeah, bus, okay. So the assist is off, that's good. But the right side is on. Okay, now both sides should come on. Or maybe there, there is some light here on the side, okay. I want to go maybe somewhere even darker. Wait, is, I'm not sure, is the, is the right side on? Are you in yet? Are you in yet? Yeah, it was on. Okay, okay, okay. I wasn't sure. Huh. Okay, let's uh, turn right here and see. Yeah, let's try another road. So now we're heading towards Yasheim. Let me see. I'm going to switch it on again. Ah, okay, this time it didn't fire up immediately. And now it should... Wait, maybe it didn't, rec it didn't uh, register my click here. There. There, okay, okay, it briefly comes on and then off again. Mm, which I don't like, because even if you have those adaptive systems on, uh, let's say, Polestar or something else, even if you turn on the adaptive lights, if there's oncoming traffic, it will not initially flash on. Okay, this is, um, this is where you need the adaptive stuff. Oh, I like it on the right side there. Oh, look at that, wow. Well, now none. Uh, well, this is so random. Okay, but I heard that it <laughs> it will detect, it will flash like this, and then, of course, uh, the sign reflects it into the sensor. <laughs> but uh, at least more sophisticated systems with cameras, this will then detect that that's just a sign reflecting. So, uh, but here we don't have any camera in the LED bar. It's just uh, some light sensor. Maybe that's why it goes on and off like that. It's just like a mule, semi-blind. 
like, like, a, like a worm, right? Worms, they can't see, but they can sense light. I try to light, uh, use a head, um, flashlight at them at night and they detect it. <laughs> but it is so random how it goes on and off. I would, just the fact that it flashes on and off like that, uh, I will probably get uh, annoyed over time. You see? You see? <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> I don't know, what, what do you guys think, huh? The adaptive stuff here, or the, the well, I don't think they call it adaptive, they call it uh, with smart function or something like that. Uh, okay, oncoming car, there, off, okay, good. Then what? On? On one side. Okay, we have a house on that side, okay. Now then, now, both sides, come on. No? Okay, how about, how about now? Right side only. What? Left side should, left side should come on also. There is nothing on the left side that triggers the, trigger, uh, triggers the, the sensor now. You see here? This is exactly when I need left side to be on. <laughs> uh, okay, I think this is, um, this is fail, really. Um, so the adaptive uh, stuff is more like, hey, dude. Okay, okay, all right. Wait, why was the uh, wait? Why was the uh, lead bar not on? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, the lead bar part is off right now. Okay, okay, that's fine, no problem. So I have to also actively switch on the. But that was also interesting. The guy flashed at me. Uh, I'm not sure why, because. Oh, wait. wait. But uh, the adaptive stuff or the, the assist was not on, or flashing on. It wasn't strong at all. But he did see that the lead bar was on. Maybe he thought I was lighting his lead bar on him. But trust me, that was not the case. He would see the lead bar lighting up. <laughs> so, all right. Um, at least now you guys have seen it. I thought about going to uh, E6 and try after uh, past Dahl, but I'm not sure if uh, that would make any sense. I think I've seen enough now. Uh, as for the, for the assist function, uh, nah, not good. But for the, for the lead bar part, yes. Kick ass. Yeah, kick ass for the Lord. <laughs> well, okay, I think that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.